everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Vintage Vegan here. In today's video, I'm gonna do a vlog for you guys. I'm just gonna share with you a little haul really quickly. I went to the Christmas tree shop and I picked up this really pretty beachy pastel pineapple blanket. I normally don't go for this type of stuff, but it totally gives me like stony clover vibes and I'm just living for this. And this was only $10 for this blanket. It's so beautiful and I'm so happy that I came across this. So next up from the Christmas tree shop, I bought this gorgeous sign. It says home on it and of course what sold me was the pink bow and the glitter and just it's so shabby chic. It's by the Sparkle Art Collection and this was $12.99. I'm just so happy that I saw this there because I could not leave it behind. And that's all I got from the Christmas tree shop and then I headed on over to Target. I did find a new dress slash romper. It's so pretty, you guys. It's a powder blue and it has like little flowers all over it and it has a little tie waist right here. I got a size small and it's pretty short and it is a romper. So I don't know, I just really love this. It is kind of a bit wrinkled because I just kind of threw it in the bag, but I really love this and it was only $25. But yeah, sorry for the background right now because my room is so messy and I need to really clean it. My room is just like super tiny and then I have this radiator over here, it's so old. As well as like a wire to go to my computer because my plug literally goes around my whole room because I only have one outlet that actually works. How beautiful, you guys. I love this blanket. It's so beachy and summery and just perfect. So pretty and girly. Should definitely film an aquamarine room makeover tour. So I just wanted to share with you guys that I actually thrifted this a while ago and I am absolutely loving it so much. There is like a little mark here, but honestly, like it's perfect condition. It's like a quilted shabby chic vintage bag. And then this is the back. I like that it has like a little pocket in the front. Um, and then you open it up and I have all my stuff in there. But you open it up and it's just like basic and you know, tan colored, but it also comes with like this. So if you look up this brand, it's called Amanda Smith. You might be able to find one. I did find one and it was a different color. It was like red and blue, um, but occasionally like people will add more. So just like keep checking back. And you might be able to find this because it's like really cute and like very inexpensive. See, sometimes it's easier to look up vintage shabby chic brands. Not always will they write shabby chic in the description. You might have to type in like quilted tote bag or uh, floral vintage bag. So I'm absolutely loving this romper dress from Target. So when I first put it on, it was like really long on this half and it came down super far. But I realized after the fact that the straps are actually adjustable, which is a huge plus because usually V-cut stuff I don't tend to go for because they do not have adjustable straps. But I really am loving this. I can't wait to wear it when it gets nice out. This big bruise is from my job. I recently just started doggy daycare and I had a breakup of a fight and the dog accidentally bit my leg, so that's what that is. But yeah, other than that, I just, I don't know, I just can't wait to wear this. I need to wait till this heals so I can actually wear it and not look weird. So I think that I'm gonna go ahead and find a spot for this new decoration. I love this so much, it's so pretty, the bow. It's just everything. It's so shabby chic and vintage inspired. So I actually just hung it up right on over here. I love, 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 love the way that it looks. And it's just like sitting above this little Marie Antoinette like style flower carts. And I do need to like update it a bit um, and move the candle. I just put that for the background aesthetic. But I really love this. It looks super, super cute and shabby chic. I definitely want to do like a shabby chic theme room tour. I was going to do the Marie Antoinette, but honestly, I cannot find cute enough curtains anywhere. So let me know if you guys see any Marie Antoinette themed curtains. But 
But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to make my next theme a Cinderella coffee bar theme. So if you guys want to see that, then definitely comment that below because I would love, love, love to do that. Okay, you guys, so I am just going to work on some things for my shop. I got these signs. I'm going to Mod Podge some vintage fabric to these signs, and then I'm going to add some letters. But I did run out of letters, so I'm going to have to order more. So I'm not going to show you the final results, but this is just a little sneak peek of what is coming to my shop. I'm super excited. Everything is going to be unique and, you know, a couple of them are going to be made. Some of them are going to be one of a kind, so you don't want to miss out on this. I'm trying to rebrand my shop. I do eventually want to change the name, but for now, I'm going to keep Vintage Velour Store. And if you guys want to check that out, I will leave it down below. Such a super easy project. I can't wait to show you the final results and to release these into my shop. It's so easy and you could do this pretty much to everything. It's so life changing. You need to go to the thrift store, get vintage fabric. It's so inexpensive. Usually most of the time it is. You can use pillowcases, curtains, fabric. I just really love this idea because it's always different. It's super unique. All the vintage patterns are just so unique in their own way and super pretty. And you can never find stuff like that nowadays. So that's why I love vintage so, so much. And this is what it looks like hung up on the wall without the lettering. I do want to get some like patches and see if I can glue them on there as well. I'm just such a sucker for swag bows, like vintage swag bows. I think that's what the name is and like anything floral print and here is what the other one looks like so pretty I do need to trim the sides a bit but honestly I still love the way this looks and here's just a closer look so just really quickly before I wrap today's video up I wanted to find a space for my two new Cinderella DIY projects and if you have not seen that already I will link that video down below for you to check out it's included in a vlog so it's super pretty I made this from Dollar Tree and a golden book super simple and also I just literally used this golden book picture cut it out and put it in this frame and I'm just gonna go ahead and find a spot for these and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks Okay, you guys, so I decided to give this little corner a makeover. I really love how this came out. I do wish that I had like a powder blue record player, but maybe I can do like a little DIY project and put like some fabric in it and change the color of it. I don't know how I feel. It's broken anyway, so honestly, it's only for decoration for now until I get it fixed. This is the top corner. I just have a vintage Cinderella record, and it's not actually just music. It's actually like the movie, like in verbal form. So it's really cute. And then I have this little Cinderella clock I got from Savers, and also this little DIY project that I made. And then moving down, I have this next shelf. I really love the outcome of this, you guys. And the frame is everything, and it cost me like nothing to make. And then the next shelf is super pretty as well. I just have this vintage Disney book and this is the Cinderella chapter in the book and the pictures are gorgeous, you guys. I love it so, so much. And if you're wondering what the book actually is, it's this Fantasyland book and I got this from the Goodwill. And this is like the most aesthetic page in the book. How how cute, you guys. It's so vintage. And I just have like these little pumpkin things and like little decorations. I love this so much. And then the last shelf, and yes, I do need to like clean this, but I just have like this little American Bible in the back because the shelf's actually broken. If I remove it, it will fall apart because it's super old. So hopefully when I move out, I can get like a new shelf like this. Um, but yeah, I just have like this vintage head vase. It totally reminds me of Cinderella. I have like a little vintage canister thing, like tin box. And I have some vintage powder blue gloves that totally remind me of Cinderella. And also that like CSI thing in the background is to hold up the shelf as well. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's vlog. I didn't go out because I am going to my Nana's birthday party. We're going to have a barbecue, although it's not really 
that nice out today. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. Everything will be linked down below as usual. And I will see you guys in my next lovely video.